please be seated. Good morning. My name is Lisa Rosen Metch, and I am the proud dean of the Columbia School of General Studies. Welcome to the Class Day Ceremony, celebrating the accomplishments of the extraordinary General Studies Class of 2018. I am especially pleased that we have with us today the President of Columbia University, Lee Bollinger. and Executive Vice President and Dean of the Faculty of the Arts and Sciences, David Madigan. In addition, we are honored to have with us today Shuli Schwartz, Dean of Graduate and Undergraduate Studies at the Jewish Theological Seminary. We are honored to welcome Vice President David Chang from the City University of Hong Kong and Frederick Mion, President of Sciences Po. They and their colleagues have joined us this morning to celebrate the graduation of students in our joint programs with the Jewish Theological Seminary, our dual BA program with the Sciences Po, and our dual BA program with the City University of Hong Kong. All of these students have earned two bachelor's degrees in four years, one from JTS, Sciences Po, or the City University of Hong Kong, and another one from Columbia University. I would like to extend a warm welcome to our Class Day speaker, Olympian Sasha Cohen, GS Class of 2016. I would like to welcome members of the GS Board of Visitors, members of the Executive Board of the GS Alumni Association, and of course, members of our distinguished faculty in the arts and sciences who have been your teachers, mentors, and champions, and they're all here. Thank you. We have a very special guest joining us on stage today, here to see his granddaughter, Shana Polly, graduate today. This person is Milton Mickey Mashira. If you could stand for a moment. This is very special. And I want, Mickey, if you could just, there he is. Mickey started at the School of General Studies in 1949, just two years after the creation of GS in 1947. But his studies were soon interrupted by military service in Korea. He returned in 1952. He returned in 1952 after service and graduated in 1954, but today, only 64 years later, he joins us to celebrate his granddaughter's accomplishments, and we get to congratulate Mickey and his family on their Columbia legacy at the School of General Studies. Finally, but certainly not least, I have the honor and privilege to welcome Peter J. Ahn, my predecessor in the amazing team. And 
the, he is the amazing Dean Emeritus of the School of General Studies. I am honored to be the ninth Dean of the School of General Studies and the first alumna to be Dean of this exceptional school. As a proud alumna, I know firsthand how transformative GS is for students who pass through our doors at Lewison Hall. I also know how much our students and graduates do to transform the world around them during and after their time at Columbia. The creation of GS 71 years ago represents a true milestone in the evolution of undergraduate education at Ivy League universities. There are two major factors that make GS unique. First, we actively recruit students who have taken an untraditional path and integrate them fully into our distinguished, rigorous undergraduate program. Second, we are the incubator for innovative dual and joint degree programs, which gives students a unique opportunity to engage with cutting edge international education. I am a proud graduate of our flagship joint program with Liss College at the Jewish Theological Seminary. The joint program was established over 60 years ago. 28 joint program students will graduate this week. We are especially pleased that 55 students will be graduating from our dual BA program with Sciences Po. Sciences Po is the leading European university in the social sciences, and we are also super excited that 10 students from our joint BA program with the City University of Hong Kong will also graduate today. The presence of, the, of, of GS in the classroom, bringing both traditional and untraditional students, enhances significantly the quality of the intellectual discourse among students and faculty. And our community in GS makes the Columbia undergraduate experience unlike that at any other Ivy League university. There is absolutely no doubt that the success of GS is due to the commitment of the Columbia faculty to our mission and our students. At GS, you will find 460 veterans in, of the US military, 106 who will be graduating this week. This is the largest cohort of US veterans to graduate from Columbia since World War II. And we should know that no other Ivy League or selected private university comes even close to that number. We are without doubt the gold standard for undergraduate veterans education in the US. Whether GS students are first generation college students, actors, dancers, parents, Olympic medalists like our keynote speaker today, Sasha Cohen, or community college graduates, musicians, entrepreneurs, international students, or students who have simply overcome challenging life circumstances, they all receive the same superb education as all other Columbia undergraduates and they excel. Members of the class of 2018, I hope you appreciate how valuable you and your fellow GSers have been to the intellectual life of Columbia. You represent the cutting edge of American and international undergraduate education, and you have proven yourselves through your academic accomplishments and your dedication to one another and Columbia. We are privileged to count you as lifelong members of Columbia intellectual and alumni communities. Now I will get to introduce our president. Under President Bollinger's leadership, Columbia stands again at the very top rank of great research universities.
distinguished by academic excellence, historic institutional development, an innovative and sustainable approach to global engagement and unprecedented levels of alumni involvement and financial stability. During his tenure, President Bollinger conceived and led the university's most ambitious expansion in over a century with the creation of the Manhattanville campus in West Harlem. President Bollinger's vision for Columbia's engagement in the world led to the development of a network of eight Columbia Global Centers on four continents and the creation of new venues of the university's home campus supporting global conversations and scholarship, including the World Leaders Forum and the Committee on Global Thoughts. Most recently, President Bollinger announced the creation of a new institution embedded in the university called Columbia World Projects. In describing this effort, President Bollinger writes, what universities have not yet done in creating institutions that aim across a broad range of specific topics to connect academic work and the broad capacities of the academic community with organization and parties beyond the academy that possess the power and influence to transform all of this into concrete consequences benefiting humanity. This is the purpose of Columbia World Projects. Lee Bollinger is also a committed educator, continuing to teach an undergraduate course on the First Amendment, even while he leads this great university. You should all know that his support for the students of the School of General Studies has been unwavering. When he interviewed me to be the ninth dean of this School of General Studies, President Bollinger said to me that while he is confident in the knowledge that I will work to bring the School of General Study to even higher levels of distinction, he also wanted to make sure that as dean, I would love our students. And I can assure you, President Bollinger, that I do. <laughs> it is my privilege. to introduce to you the 19th president of Columbia University, Lee C. Bollinger. Thank you, Thank you uh, very much, Lisa. That was extremely generous and thoughtful. I um, will have the opportunity to speak to you on Wednesday, so I'm going to save everything I have to say until then. I just want to make a few very quick comments. First of all, I want to acknowledge the tremendous feeling of satisfaction and of uh, pleasure that the parents and families feel uh, in watching you graduate. This is a moment that is seared in the memory of every uh, family member forever. And we follow you around. We love everything you do. This is, this is a time in life when it's just unconflicted uh, adoration, and we, we understand that. The second thing I want to say is that um, we, we really have been blessed with uh, truly, truly great deans of general studies. And um, uh, of course, there's Peter, and then there's Peter, and that's the end. So Peter, Peter the Great is our, is our our tradition of great deans in, um, in general studies. And I want to say, I, Lisa is just going to be a spectacular dean as well. It's, it's something where you bring an intellectual distinction. She's a really, really fine and accomplished scholar, but also very much involved in the world in, in ways that help people enormously, but just has a, a love of this institution and a view that she just exhibited and those are all the ingredients of, of a worthy successor to Peter on. So thank you, Lisa, for doing this. <clears throat> this is also the last uh, graduation for general studies of David Madigan, who has been the executive vice president for arts and sciences. And David is someone who has really, really worked with Peter and now Lisa to help general studies in every possible way. 
and behind the scenes, and uh, it, it's something that you don't uh, fully appreciate, but I want to give a very special thanks and acknowledgement to David Madigan, who is stepping down now. David. So just two very quick comments. One is that general studies, as Lisa and uh, we say every single year, is a truly, truly unique, rare institution. There's nothing else like it uh, in the United States and, and possibly the world. And that's, um, that's something that Columbia takes enormous pride in. Columbia would not be Columbia without general studies. So it's a very, very warm thanks to you. And the last thing I'd say, which I will expand on on Wednesday, is this is a very unusual moment in the history uh, that you're graduating at this, uh, at this time. Uh, the very things we stand for as a university, reason, civil inquiry, objectivity, truth, facts, understanding knowledge, bringing to bear whatever thinking we can on hard problems. This is something that is under challenge, whatever your political views. This is not something on which uh, one really can have a different view and have a meaningful civilization. So we as a university feel particularly strongly about the importance of these basic bedrock values. And we hope that you have been steeped in them here and will carry forth uh, those basic norms uh, into your lives. Thank you very much. Congratulations to you. Thank you, President Bollinger. Frederick Mion was appointed president of Sciences Po in April 2013. Under President Mion, Sciences Po continues to be a leader in education through its innovative academic programs and its commitment to remain open to the world and its diversity. President Mion's emphasis on and dedication to internationalization, pedagogical innovation, and excellence in the social sciences position Sciences Po among the world's leading institutions of higher education. Sciences Po is one of the founding members of the Alliance Program, a transatlantic joint venture of excellence supported by the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs, bringing together Columbia University and the three major French institutions. Every year, hundreds of students from all over the world are part of one of the 23 joint programs and dual degree programs offered to undergraduate and graduate students between the four universities, including the nearly 300 students in the dual BA program between Columbia University and Sciences Po. President Mion has been a great partner and friend to Columbia University. I am pleased that he will be our partner for many more years. In February 2018, Sciences Po's governing bodies confirmed uh, President Mion's second term as president. Please join me in welcoming President Frederick Mion. Dear President Bollinger, dear Vice President Madigan, dear Dean Rosenmetsch, dear members of the faculty and administration, dear family members, and most importantly, dear graduates, it is for me a great privilege and a great honor to be with you today as we celebrate the GS graduates class of 2018. And I am in awe of being standing in front of you on this podium today. Thank you so much, Dean Rosenmetsch, for inviting me to be with you today. Thank you for this very warm and generous welcome. And congratulations on your appointment as the ninth dean of this phenomenal School of General Studies of Columbia University. The common history between Sciences Po and GS started eight years ago when together with your predecessor, 
my much esteemed friend, Dean Peter Ahn, we launched our groundbreaking Duo BA. We made history then by linking, for what I believe was the very first time, two global institutions at undergraduate level. In joining forces with Columbia, we knew at Sciences Po that we were providing the very best space for our future global actors to emerge and that we were creating an environment, a truly unique, truly international environment in which outstanding and curious-minded young people from across the globe, the globe could flourish. Eight years down the road, we've certainly come a long way, and we're extremely proud of what has proven to be an incredibly successful collaboration at the global level. Dear GS graduates, each and every one of you has, of course, also come a long way. In joining GS, you all took a brave step, that of choosing a school where innovative programs are made possible, where out of the ordinary life stories are welcomed, cherished, and nurtured. At Sciences Po, we are in awe of the, brill of the brilliance and diversity of the GS community. A number of you here today are, of course, I confess, particularly close to my heart. They chose to have not just one, but two alma maters. And to start with, they chose to leave their native Singapore, Turkey, or Canada, amongst so many others, in order to spend two years in the French provinces, although some of them at the time didn't even speak a word of French. I remember meeting you all on your various campuses for the very first time four years ago. You were young, you still are young, fresh, <laughs> you're still somewhat fresh, excited, <laughs> and nervous. But before our eyes, you grew into mature young adults capable of achieving academic success whilst also discovering who you were. That is to say, whilst truly becoming yourselves. Your second leap into the unknown was Colombia. At Colombia, you had to step away from your beloved deux parties, deux sous-parties. You had to discover the endless joys of problem sets and research papers. You swapped the notoriously delicious Cruz sandwiches for the more aesthetic salads at Sweet Green. And of course, those of you who spend their first two lives at Sciences Po on our campus in the city of Reims had to jump from one type of Bollinger to another, <laughs> but they lost none of the sparkle in the process. Today, Sciences Po and Colombia are a fundamental part of your identities, and the skills you've developed over the past four years have developed in each of you a keen sense of critical observation with regards to a multicultural context and prepared you for what I hope will be a life of service in a truly global world. Incidentally, I realized as I flew over from Paris a couple of days ago that out of the four US and French presidents that you've known during your time at Sciences Po and Colombia, three were graduates of either Sciences Po or Colombia. I shall not name names, <laughs> but please think of expanding the list. Because graduates, the future is yours. The time has come for you to get out into the world. And as you go forth, I beseech you to be ambitious in proportion to the dreams that we harbor for you. I beseech you to be generous in proportion to the gifts that have been so lavishly bestowed upon you. I beseech you to be humble in proportion to the number and magnitude of the challenges with which our planet is faced. I beseech you to be joyful in proportion to the gloom that so many feel it is their duty to spread. And I beseech you to give as much love 
as you possibly can, because to quote the words of French writer Bernanos, every life is lived under the sign of desire and fear unless it be lived under the sign of love. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Happy graduation. Make us proud. Thank you. Thank you, President Mion. I am now thrilled to introduce to you our next speaker, who will have the honor to introduce the 2018 Class Day speaker. In addition to his full-time career in academe teaching economics as senior lecturer in Columbia University's Department of Economics, Professor Sunil Galati was, until just recently, the president of the United States Soccer Federation, where he served four consecutive terms. Professor Galati is a widely popular teacher and a member of our faculty and community. Professor Sunil Galati. Some uh, seven years ago, after the first session of Principles of Economics, having reviewed the syllabus, a student approached me in the patio outside of Skirmerhorn with a midterm date conflict. Not the first time I've heard such nonsense. <laughs> Her precise words, I have this skating thing. My somewhat sarcastic response was, sorry, but if it was the Olympic trials or something, to which she responded, well, I've done the Olympic trials and the Olympics. At which point the student standing next to her screamed, oh my God, are you Sasha Cohen? <laughs> Embarrassed, I looked up and indeed it was Sasha Cohen. <laughs> Our class day speaker this morning is a distinguished Olympic athlete and medalist, GS class of 2016. Like many of you, extraordinary accomplishments before, during, and for many of you, soon to be after you're here. Starting as a gymnast, Sasha made the switch to skating at age seven and began training seriously at age 11. In 2001, she suffered a broken back, but against all odds, recovered quickly and qualified for the 2002 Olympics, where she finished fourth. In the 2006 US Figure Skating Championships, she took home the silver medal and the Olympic, at the Olympic Games that year, the same. She is a three-time world championship medalist and placed among the top, 20 in three, uh, top three in 20 consecutive competitions since 2003. Sasha enrolled at GS in 2011, steps of Skirmerhorn notwithstanding. She did quite well here. During her time as a student, she continued to tour and perform with Stars on Ice. She supported figure skating in Harlem a nonprofit organization that aims to empower girls of color through education and access to the artistic discipline of figure skating, as well as the Robin Hood Foundation, an organization dedicated to fighting poverty in New York City. She graduated magna cum laude in 2016 with a degree in political science. Sasha continued to pursue her interest in media after graduation as a news associate at 60 Minutes and as head of content at Zig. Currently, she works as a disruptive change analyst for Morgan Stanley, speaks for the Olympic Committee, and volunteers with several charitable organizations. She also continues to write with pieces published in the New York Times and Sports Illustrated, including a recent op-ed about adjusting to life after being an Olympian. In 2016, Sasha was inducted into the US Figure Skating Hall of Fame, <laughs> Olympic medalist, Hall of Fame, a skating thing indeed. Please welcome, please join me in welcoming Sasha Cohen as our class day speaker. Sasha Cohen. Wow, you've, you've done your research. I don't think I have much left to say. Well, let me start with good morning. It's early. I can't believe that it was literally just two years ago that I was sitting where you are now. I want to thank you for the tremendous honor of allowing me to speak to you on this momentous occasion. 
I want to thank President Bollinger, Executive Vice President and Dean of Faculty Madigan, Dean Rosenmensch, members of faculty and administration, family members, and most importantly, the graduates. First of all, take a second and just look around. Look at what you're wearing. You made it. Take this moment to really reflect on your time here. Maybe, like me, you will always remember the sun on your face as you sat on the steps of Low Library in the first warm days of spring, the happy chatter, the longer days, that anticipation of summer. Take a minute to really appreciate what being a student here meant to you, the privilege of joining a class of individuals who came to Columbia School of General Studies with a multitude of experiences before even stepping foot here. Veterans, dancers, artists, musicians, and those who took a slightly different path. You're here because you wanted to be here, not because college was the next logical step. And today, you're graduating. I have to tell you, I was genuinely taken by surprise when I got an email from Dean Rosenmetsch asking me to be your speaker. She had read my op-ed in the New York Times about what it was like to retire at 25. This past year has brought multiple opportunities for me to write, speak, and find what feels like truth for me. Every four years, the Winter Olympics stirs up a flurry of memories and emotions, reminding me of my competitive days and just how short an athlete's career is. I spoke to the 2018 Winter Olympic team just last month on what to expect after a lifetime dedicated to their sport. The disorientation at having a lifelong goal dissolve. Their ready-made sense of purpose vanish and the absolute futility of thinking that something else could fully replace an athlete's way of life. I'm still adjusting, but I feel like I'm finally finding a post-Olympic rhythm. Today, I'm speaking to you as a peer and hope the lessons that I've learned and am still learning will be useful to you. The world knows me as a figure skater, two-time Olympian and Olympic silver medalist. Some people, however, think my best work was my cameo in Blades of Glory catching Will Ferrell's jockstrap. <laughs> Which might very well be true. More often than you might expect, people are rather disappointed when they don't get Borat. But if you are paying attention, he always goes by his full name, Sasha Baron Cohen. Anyways, I spent my childhood and teenage years training with a singular motivation, becoming an Olympian. It was lonely and pressure-packed. I lived in a world of my own thoughts, intensified by my expectations. At the age of 12, I chose to be homeschooled to increase my training time. And at 17, when most of my friends made a move to attend university, I moved across the country and back again to follow coaches I believe would make me a better athlete. I could say that I missed out on a normal childhood, but to be honest, I never wanted one. For better or worse, dedicating two decades of my life to a sport shaped me. I know the power of an irrational level of commitment, what it feels like to have the weight of the world on your shoulders, and how satisfying it can be to make personal sacrifices for your dreams. In 2010, at the age of 25, I decided to give competitive skating one last chance and try to make my third Olympic team. I did not make the team that night. But I did make a decision to leave my competitive skating career behind, although I had no idea what would be next. At that point, I was spending half of my free time at the public library, and I was hungry for a structured education. I decided to apply to Columbia School of General Studies. And as you know, I needed to write a personal essay as part of the application. Well, I hadn't written an essay in eight years, and I hated writing. I couldn't do justice to my thoughts and feelings. I'd never developed patience or the practice of writing. In fact, when I was supposed to be writing essays during my senior year of high school, 
My teacher told me it'd be okay if I just kept a journal during the Olympics. So, to no great surprise, my writing was in dire need of work. My sister kindly read it over, took a deep breath, before giving me a long look. You know, one of those looks that really looks and wonders what's going on up here? My little sister, who graduated from Barnard in 2010, Phi Beta Kappa, magna cum laude, double majored in econ and psych, total slacker. You know the type. She said, you can't just write your thoughts in any random order. What's your thesis? What's the point? Did you even make an outline? By the way, she said the same thing when she read through the rough draft of this speech. Some things <laughs> never change. And that was the beginning of my journey here. At Columbia, I was finally a student first. I learned to write properly, think critically, and understand the immense value of a liberal arts education. I learned what a thesis was and why every professor was so adamant that I include one in my paper. This seems like the proper moment to thank the admissions board for admitting me, giving me the chance to fall in love with education, with Columbia, and with writing. I feel like that buildup should culminate with me telling you that I'm now a New York Times best-selling author. No, <laughs> not yet at least. Maybe in 20 years when I come back. But I have started to write about my experiences and transitions from an athlete to civilian. After graduating, my first job was at a small media startup. I left that startup when funding ran out, as often happens, and I went to work at 60 Minutes. I then applied to Columbia School of Journalism and got in, but decided not to go. While I loved telling stories that mattered, I was drawn to many other things as well. I now work in investment management, identifying new technologies that significantly change the investing landscape. If it's a buzzword, I'm probably looking into it. Outside my career search, in my personal life, it's been a time of exploration and recognition. I took a trip across the country, traveled to Africa, South America, Southeast Asia, and Europe. I was inaugurated into the US Figure Skating Hall of Fame. It was also a time of great sadness. I lost my grandmother to cancer, and a year later found myself facing the end of my marriage. I had moments of incredible joy and freedom later replaced by heartache, doubt, and groundlessness. But that's life, with its ups, its downs. Each experience, personally and professionally, has taught me something about myself and the way I want to be in this world. And after watching over 30 commencement speeches, which I think could be an incredible course offering, by the way, I found a common thread. The speaker's role is to cut through the noise that has taken over our daily consciousness of what we think is important versus what actually matters. With that in mind, I have seven pieces of advice. My first piece of advice, fitting in is overrated. I was an overactive, overwhelming child. I never fit in anywhere, not with my teachers, not with my classmates. I bounced through several elementary schools, always sticking out and not in a good way. One teacher thought I was deaf because I never listened to instructions. Another concerned teacher gave my mother a book on how to deal with juvenile delinquents. I was often sent to the principal's office, usually for doing cartwheels instead of lining up during assembly, talking while the teacher was talking, or not putting my art project down to move on when it was time for math. I like to see my projects to completion, what can I say? My pediatrician determined I had ADHD and recommended medication. My parents, however, opted for gymnastics three hours a day. My life would have been very different if my parents had chosen a path to help me fit in by putting me on Ritalin. But thankfully, my parents, who also can never be accused of trying to fit in, put me into gymnastics, which led to ice skating which in turn led to an Olympic and professional career as a figure skater. There's always another way than the normal path, and it usually leads to the better, more authentic you. Honor your differences and channel them. Lesson two, just show up every day 
even when you think you cannot. Because when you show up, you are defeating the voice inside that wants to give up. As a competitive athlete, nine days out of 10 were rough. My body ached and injuries were always present. Each day of practice leading up to a big competition brought with it a heavy feeling in my chest and butterflies in my stomach. My inner voice asked would I be prepared and would I live up to my potential. This mental and physical pressure filled me with doubt, but I showed up every day at the rink, at the gym, at physical therapy. By showing up, no matter how I felt, by putting in the work, I built something. And after years and years of showing up, standing my ground and fighting against the pain and fear, I found myself at my second Olympic Games. During my long program at the Olympics, my nightmare came to life as I fell on my first jump, then badly botched the second. Those moments were probably the most difficult of my life. With the entire world watching as my dreams shattered in a few seconds, I made a choice to keep fighting, to show up for the girl who had spent a lifetime preparing for this moment. You can't control how things turn out, but you can show up. I ended up skidding the rest of my program perfectly and winning the silver medal. Now I want to segue to a few lessons I've learned since graduation. Unlike the, comm the usual commencement speaker who graduated decades ago, has built an epic career and has it all figured out, I'm still navigating the world. But I do have two whole years post-graduation on you, and I've been busy. Lesson three, give yourself permission to wander and even to get lost. In the words of someone much wiser, not till we are lost do we begin to find ourselves. Henry David Thoreau. Not until recently did I learn the necessity of giving myself permission not to know, permission to let life unfold. If you're a type A personality like I am, this sounds incredibly irresponsible. I used to have every minute of my life planned out in four-year Olympic cycles. Failing to plan was quite literally planning to fail. Maybe that's true in sports and in war, but it's certainly not true in life. I began the process of letting life unfold when I moved to New York City. I didn't know where I would live, what my major would be, or what life would be like outside of an ice rink. But I did know that forcing and planning were no longer serving me. Deciding to stop skating and starting over was terrifying, but one of the best decisions that I've ever made. Lesson number four, be vulnerable. The willingness to share your vulnerabilities will add incredible depth to your life. You will find that you're not the only one who struggles. I spent a whole life putting up walls keeping people out and trying to be perfect, not saying anything that might result in criticism or make me appear weak. In the last year, however, I began to publicly write about it for Sports Illustrated, BuzzFeed, and the New York Times. It was terrifying to openly admit my fears, feelings of inadequacy, and how hard my post-Olympic transition has been. In print, on the internet, for the whole world to read. I fully expected awkward responses and people wondering if I had lost my mind in sharing these deep-seated insecurities. But to my surprise, it was quite the opposite. I got letters and emails and tweets, not just from skaters, athletes, and Olympians, from people who had lost a loved one, who felt unhinged by a career transition, who had given up an identity in some capacity. I felt an incredible connection with these people who in turn shared their own insecurities with me. Lesson five. I am an avid quote collector and one of my favorites is about a little bird by the poet Aaron Hansen. There is freedom waiting for you on the breezes of the sky and you ask, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? That quote 
captures the fear and the doubt that so often hold me back. I have worked to reframe fear as a welcome sign. I know that if something scares me, it's probably something I need to do. From my experience, the little voice inside that aspires but is held back by fear is spot on. I've learned to listen more often and to listen sooner. Refuse to live a life defined by what you're afraid to fail at. Lesson six. Destinations are overrated. It's about the journey. Most of us don't live this way. We focus on the outcome. Why is the destination, the end goal, so appealing to us? I think because on the deepest level, what we all want so fundamentally is to arrive, to make it, to feel validated. Yet I don't think we will ever feel like we are done or have arrived. Because when you do arrive, it only means you must start over and find a new destination. That's what I learned on the Olympic podium and again when I graduated from Columbia. Lesson number seven. Define what success means for you. I found that success cannot be found in a gold medal, in an A, or a prestigious job. For me, success is making life a daily process that I love. I want to remind you what a big statement that is coming from me. Someone who lived and breathed the words, pain is temporary, victory is forever. I'm ambitious to a fault and have spent a lifetime training to compete with tangential outcomes. But in the eight years since I last competed and in the two years since I graduated, I've realized that success takes many forms, not just the covers of magazines and big paychecks, but in the time I spend with family and friends, in the books I get lost in, the travel to remote parts of the earth, in the human experience. As you enter the real world, I encourage you to take some time and find out what success means for you. Learn who you are, what you stand for, and what you value. If you're ever in doubt, ask your 80-year-old self what you would do. I find that's where all my wisdom and common sense comes from. 80-year-old Sasha. I bring her in for a conversation now and again, and she sets my priorities straight. Because at the end of our lives, I believe that we will regret more what we didn't do than what we did. We will regret that we played it safe, that we didn't take the wild adventure, and that we didn't spend more time with the people who made us smile, laugh, and feel loved. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you, Sasha Cohen. That was wonderful. Our salutatorian this year is Marisol Yu. After graduating from high school in New Jersey, Marisol moved to Texas to attend the University of Texas at Austin. Due to a combination of financial issues and personal challenges, she dropped out in the spring semester of her first year and began working in construction and landscaping full time while taking night courses part time at Austin Community College. In 2016, Marisol moved to New York City and enrolled at GS where she found purpose for her studies and life. With deeper insight into psychology and the importance of seeking knowledge on human behavior, gained while working with Professor Nim Tottenham in her developmental effective neuroscience lab, and a background as a fitness enthusiast, she went on to establish My One Body, One Life, a nonprofit whose mission is to emphasize the interconnectedness and importance of mental and physical health while making holistic health accessible to all. Marisol was named to the Dean's List in each of her semesters at GS and was inducted into the GS Honor Society, the Columbia University Psi Chi Honor Society, and Phi Beta Kappa. She is the recipient of the Clayton A. Blaylock Scholarship and was chosen as a Gilman Scholar. 
Looking to the future, Marisol's chief aim before eventually attending business school is to empower people by providing them with resources and inspiration to take control of their own health and lifestyle through her nonprofit. Please join me in welcoming the salutatorian of the class of 2018, Marisol Yu. Thank you, Dean Rosenmetsch. Esteemed administrators, honored faculty, alumni, class of 2018, family and friends, welcome. It is beyond an honor and pleasure to be here with you all today. Columbia is hard. <laughs> it's supposed to be hard. If it were easy, everyone would do it. The hard, it's what makes it great. This quote was put on a screen in front of me, and likely several of you as well, during Jumpstart, a program provided by our wonderful deans at GS, who helped us anxious returning students adjust, not just into student life, but Columbia life. Now, standing here in front of you, I can certainly attest to the truth behind these words, Columbia is hard. But we did it. I'll admit, I've always been a nerd. Even when I was a college dropout, I wasn't the type that was cool by some non-traditional means. I was just a nerd dropout. So what did that make me? A failure? I thought so. I wonder if many of you have read on Carol Dweck's truly enlightening research on mindset with regards to achievement which informs on productivity and success. It's quite relevant to why we're all here today. So I'll try to sprinkle in how this incredibly empowering research has been a huge influence in my life. Growing up, I was troubled. I had several traumatic experiences that led me into a life of depression and anxiety from a very young age. So after graduating high school in New Jersey, I decided to move far, to live a new life, and attend the University of Texas at Austin. But it was soon that I would drop out. And that day, it was a low point for me, to say the least. I had panic attacks at any given moment and often had suicidal thoughts. But why? I had left that life behind. But now I've learned it is not a change in any physical state, in that case literally, or your situation, that can change you, change yourself from seeing yourself as a failure. No, it's a change of mindset. I chose to study psychology because I feel empowered and believe firmly in the power of your mind. After decades of research, Professor Dweck has coined growth versus fixed mindset. With a fixed mindset, One's belief stands that your set talents, IQ, genetic endowment, these are the elements that dictate success and therefore also failure. So if you have it, great. But if not, you're out of luck. On the contrary, with the growth mindset, not only are effort and dedication required, but also capable of cultivating those very elements of a fixed mindset, intelligence, ability, and so on. Therefore, grit and determination are the primary and fundamental elements of success. With this perspective, there is a passion and purpose for learning, as we understand that knowledge, performance, and achievement are a continuous journey. Growth mindset has the power to change your life. What's your GS story? I love hearing this at events, in the lounge, or just reading about all of your incredible journeys on our website. My story? Well, since that day, I couldn't fathom why life was not perfect after moving to Texas. My mindset has turned from fixed to growth. My story turned from being one that was disabled 
by my situations, both present and past, to one that has a deep understanding that nothing in life is a failure. Rather, perhaps it is not a success, yet. My story is not one of chance. It is a story of ruthlessly working, not just to find myself, but create myself. Since I was 16, I've held all kinds of jobs. Not just being a waitress, babysitter, salesperson of everything from cupcakes to vitamins, jewelry, and watches, but even wearing a gorilla suit trying to attract people into a store on a te hot Texas concrete sidewalk. It was hot. I was dancing. <laughs> My, <laughs> I'm not ashamed of any of these jobs because they're all a part of my story. My older siblings both finished college in three years. And let me tell you, it's taken me over double that time. My father pushed us all to go to college, go to law school, and then become lawyers. But I knew it was not the path for me, although I never spoke up. My incredibly intelligent siblings, who are both here today, and I'm so grateful, are both lawyers at top law firms. So you could say I've been the black sheep in my family. After I dropped out of college, I entered the construction industry. I wasn't particularly interested or knowledgeable in construction. I was an 18-year-old psychology major. But while working 100 plus hour weeks, I learned that you could learn anything. And not just learn, but excel at it. I learned skills I never thought I would, like CAD and architectural drawings, to SEO and online marketing. But most impactful to me, professional photography. While photography was originally a necessity to invest in the landscaping business, it gave me something truly invaluable, the gift of expression. My passion for photography led to new creative business endeavors. And after moving to New York to attend Columbia with the plan to continue in the fashion industry, I took a step back from the camera. I felt, I acknowledged that photography was an integral part to a healing from my lifelong depression, but I felt discouraged that I wasn't doing enough for others. Now I use my photography as one asset to work for my nonprofit, as well as in various opportune events. See, while we each have a unique toolbox of skills that we have gained both on and off this campus, we can all use our unique repertoires of ability to do the same thing. Do good for yourself and for others. And this application of your unique skill set, this is the value of a Columbia education. Believe it or not, we are no longer students at Columbia. We cannot have that amazing professor who taught you X, Y, or Z right by your side or Glenn at the University Writing Center help bring you to revelation on your writing. But what Columbia has provided us is with something even more valuable. It has given us the ability to utilize those hard-earned skills on a daily basis as they are now a part of your intrinsic thought processes. Everyone here has a different story. Just look around. We don't only vary in age, but past careers, personal histories. We're not your conventional group of undergraduates. But you know what? There is one thing that we all have in common that make us people who succeed. None of us are a story of chance. We do not let circumstances, even uncontrollable ones, dictate how we will live our lives. How do I know this? Because we're here. Because wherever you were in your life, you chose to continue your education and took initiative. And that does not just happen by chance. The people who sit to your left and your right, these are real life heroes. Like my friends, Alan and Sang, and the 104 other veterans who graduate with us today. Like my friend Marie, who put her daughter through Columbia, then came back for herself. Like my friend Powell, who cycled across the country, raising money for cancer. 
The people who sit here today, these are the people who change the world by being who they are. I came to Columbia for a degree, but I leave beyond inspired with a family. I can be certain that the paths each and every one of you will walk, once we walk off this campus today, are not necessarily easy ones. Because we are a group of individuals that whether or not something is easy is irrelevant. We do not fear what is hard, even welcome it, and accomplish what must be done. I want to remind you all that before we had Columbia is hard in our lives, there was something else in life that was hard. And because of how extraordinary you all are, I can be certain it is not the last thing that will prove difficult, but more importantly, not the last thing you will succeed at. I want to add just one more revision to that quote. It's not the great that make, I mean, it's not the hard that makes it great, it's your perseverance that makes it great. Congratulations to the class of 2018. Thank you, Marisol. That was fantastic. I would like to invite GS Vice Dean Curtis Rogers to join me for this next presentation. This past March, after five very successful years as Executive Vice President and Dean of the Faculty, David Madigan announced that he will step down in August of 2018 to return to the faculty. Over these past five years, David has expertly managed a portfolio of five schools, 27 departments, and more than 50 research centers and institutes. He has sustained and strengthened the university's academic excellence and expanded its interdisciplinary programs and international partnerships while making great strides in enhancing the diversity of this core academic community. David's leadership and his partnership with the School of General Studies led directly to the creation of our newest international program, the dual BA program with Trinity College Dublin. The inaugural class of students will arrive on campus in Dublin in September. On behalf of the faculty, administration, students, and alumni of the School of General Studies, I want to thank David for his service to the university and for his friendship to GS and to me personally. As a small token of our affection and gratitude, we are honored to present David with a signed copy of our partnership agreement between Columbia University and Trinity College Dublin. Thank you, David. Okay, thank you. Each year, the alumni key is awarded to a senior who has achieved distinction both academically and through service to the undergraduate community. This year, the alumni key award will be presented by our distinguished alumna and co-chair of the GS Alumni Association, Kirsty Jardine. Kirsty is from Johannesburg, South Africa, where she worked as an emergency services paramedic and market research project administrator before moving to New York City. She graduated from GS in May 2015 with her BA in classical studies, and very close to my heart, Kirsty was the first student ever accepted into GS's dual degree program with Columbia's Mailman School of Public Health completing her master's degree in October 2016. She currently works at the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, managing disaster preparedness training for the Bureau of Emergency Field Operations. The 2000 Alumni Key Award is awarded to Kevin Graves. A 
originally from the Midwest, Kevin is a New Yorker for the last 20 years. He is a successful DJ and music producer with three top 20 Billboard dance remixes. A transfer student from LaGuardia Community College, Kevin has distinguished himself at Columbia as a scholar and deeply engaged student leader. Kevin is a founding member and leader of the Columbia Recovery Coalition. He has been a peer advisor, a volunteer peer advocate at the Gay Health Advocacy Project, where he conducted HIV and STI counseling at Columbia Health. He has been an active member of IVG, a conference for first-generation and low-income students, the LGBTQ Leadership Retreat. He is the secretary of GS Alliance and the IV Mental Health Conference. And my favorite of Kevin's many contributions, Kevin has been participating on the GED Substance Use Working Group, which I am also a member. Kevin is an accomplished scholar. He was a finalist for both the Fulbright and Truman Scholarships. This academic year, he received the Peter J. Ahn Scholarship. After graduating, <laughs> after graduation, Kevin will pursue a PhD in social welfare or clinical psychology. And this month, Kevin will present original research at the 30th Association for Psychological Science meeting. Kevin Graves graduates with honors in psychology, magna cum laude, and is a member of the GS Honor Society. Congratulations, Kevin. particularly pleased this year to present the third annual Campbell Award. The Campbell Award is given to a student from each school at Columbia who shows exceptional leadership and Columbia spirit as exemplified by the late Bill Campbell, Columbia College Class of 1962, Teachers College Class of 1964, Chair Emeritus of the Board of Trustees, and co-founder of the Columbia Alumni Association. The Campbell Award will again be presented by co-chair of the GS Alumni Association, Kirstie Jardine. The winner of this year's Campbell Award is Powell Maslag. <laughs> Powell is the first in his family to graduate college. During his time in GS, Powell served as orientation leader and junior marshal, and he has served two consecutive terms as the community service representative on the General Studies Student Council. He was also the undergraduate representative to the Presidential Advisory Committee on Sexual Assault. Before becoming a student at GS, Powell served in AmeriCorps as a City Year Corps member and was a public ally fellow at the U.S. Fund for UNICEF. He had also worked for Habitat for Humanity as a volunteer leader and helped create an education-based nonprofit, the Great Youth Movement. Powell also served as the general body chair of He for She at Columbia the GS policy representative to the Ivy Council, a sexual violence response peer educator, and a, pub, a peer health exchange educator. After graduation, Powell will be cycling from San Francisco to Los Angeles, wow, for the San Francisco AIDS Foundation and the Los Angeles LGBT Center, and then will be running from San Francisco to Boston for the Omen Cancer Fund. He also plans to join the Peace Corps to work on HIV prevention in Sub-Saharan Africa. Please join me in congratulating our Campbell Award winner, Powell Maslow.
The remaining academic prizes and awards for leadership were presented at the Student Leadership and Academic Prizes Dinner on May 1st. Please refer to your program for the names of these extraordinary graduates who represent in a compelling way the Columbia tradition of academic excellence and commitment to community services. Now the part that we've all been waiting for, I'm going to ask Dean Hartford, our Dean of Students, to come up. Good morning. My name is Tom Hartford. I'm the Dean of Students of the School of General Studies. President Bollinger, Executive Vice President Madigan, President Mion, Dean Rosenmetsch, Dean Valentini, Dean Schwartz, Vice President Chang, Ms. Cohen, Ms. Jardine, distinguished faculty, dedicated alumni, assembled guests. It is my pleasure to present to you our candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in the School of General Studies class of 2018. Each degree candidate will receive a certificate of achievement from President Bollinger and will pause very briefly to be photographed with Dean Rosen Metsch. Kirstie Jardine, GS class of 2015, will present each graduate with a GS alumni pin. Wear this pin with, pin with pride and let it serve as a reminder of your academic achievements and your time spent at GS. Now to the wonderful, supportive, and vocal family and friends that have gathered here today, I humbly ask that you please hold your applause until the graduates have been presented on stage. We would not want to have one family's excitement drown out the presentation of another proud family's graduate. I promise you, there'll be plenty of opportunity for applause and celebration when the presentation of the class of 2018 is concluded. Thank you so much for your understanding and your restraint. <laughs> With a few exceptions here and there, this year's class will be presented in alphabetical order approximately. <laughs> Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts please step forward? Calvin Christopher Westman, Middle Eastern, South Asian, and African Studies, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Paul Maslick, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, Campbell Award winner. Kevin Edward Graves, Alumni Key winner, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Sijing Rosila Zhu Ding, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, GS Honor Society, Magna Cum Laude. Augustine Siu Zhao, Bachelor of Arts, Classical Studies, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Roya Dawn Hegdal, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, with a concentration in Hispanic Studies. Cesar A. Edraga, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics. Juan Ju, Bachelor of Arts, Art History, Magna Cum Laude. Gao Jun Zhang, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Statistics. Jing Zhao, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. <laughs> Seiya Yasuda, Bachelor of Arts, Data Science. G. Wilson Velasco, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Mary Sol Yu, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Justice Betty, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Polina Yamshikov, Bachelor of Arts, American Studies with a Concentration in Human Rights, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors, American Studies, Phi Beta Kappa. Alex Wu, Bachelor of Arts, History, Cum Laude. Xing Hao Wu, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Statistics, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors, Phi Beta Kappa. John Stanley Woody, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics. Ruben Allen Young, Bachelor of Arts, Urban Studies. Young Bin Yu, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science and Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Yiftach Yamir, Bachelor of Arts, Economics and Sociology, Cum Laude, Departmental Honors. Jia Ji Yang, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, Concentration and Statistics, GS Honor Society. Konstantina Konstantinova Yaneva, Bachelor of Arts, Human Rights with a Concentration in Political Science. 
Tenzin Fusheng Wang, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Cum Laude. Jeffrey Simon Wolfson, Bachelor of Arts, English with a concentration in mathematics. Charles Anthony Wojcik, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing. William Zhu Wang, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Brendan Wine Walsh, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts, Cum Laude, Departmental Honors. Jordan David Whitlow, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Statistics. Michael George Wedd, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors, Phi Beta Kappa. Thomas Brendan Waters, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Jacob Lewis Wasterman, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Margarita Viznarova, Bachelor of Arts, Visual Arts. Kimberly Carolyn Vitters, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Alexander Veras, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing, Double Major in Hispanic Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Lara Sophie Tong, Bachelor of Arts, Biological Sciences, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Tiang Wang, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Statistics, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Marie Snodgrass Trams, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Pamela Van Enden Iriba, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy and Psychology, Double Major, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Julie Avra Ugaretz, Bachelor of Arts, English Cum Laude. Jeffrey C. Yu Tsai, Bachelor of Arts, Data Science. Justin David Truglio, Bachelor of Arts, Neuroscience and Behavior. Anna Vladimirska, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Holly Ellen Tosco, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Philosophy. Melvin Hai Yang Chahya, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics with a concentration in business management. Jake Brandon Tischler, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Cum Laude. Kevin Ruhi Tehebi, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Chanatip Tatiyaka Runwang, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors, Phi Beta Kappa. Hannah Adrian Sweet, Bachelor of Arts, Earth Sciences, GS Honor Society. He Ling Sun, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics Statistics, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Meredith Densmore Sullivan, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Lipton George Thompson, Bachelor of Arts, Visual Arts. Ronald Telemark, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics. Adam Ray Taylor, Bachelor of Arts, Biochemistry, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors. Asher Nissen Varen, Bachelor of Arts, Biophysics. Matteo Tat Contreras, Bachelor of Arts, English Cum Laude, Departmental Honors. Julius Eleazar Tan, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Leila de Hollanda Stadinger, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Kevin Sparrow, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. Leon Wen Liang Song, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science, Magna Cum Laude. Yan Song, Bachelor of Arts, Physics, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors, Phi Beta Kappa. Chantel Natalie Rubin, Bachelor of Arts, Urban Studies. Chihi Song, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Andrew Edward Solomon, Bachelor of Arts, Com Comparative Literature and Society, Cum Laude. Ali Mabel Sinclair, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Joseph Hani Talbot, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Daniel Heim Tal, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science, Cum Laude. Ian Matthew Simonson, Bachelor of Arts, Neuroscience and Behavior, Cum Laude. Ri Min Som, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. David Eric Silverberg, Bachelor of Arts, Middle Eastern, South Asian, and African Studies, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors. Elizabeth Rose Siegel, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors. Anastasia Sidorenkova, Bachelor of Arts, Comparative Literature and Society, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Sophia Roxana Satrakian, Bachelor of Arts, Ethnicity and Race Studies. Henry Souza, Bachelor of Arts, Information Sciences. Samuel Evan Schachter, Bachelor of Arts, Neuroscience and Behavior. John Edward Scannell, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. 
Jacob Mikhail Schiffman, Bachelor of Arts, English. Jonah Shane Scharf, Bachelor of Arts, History. Jung Sung, Bachelor of Arts, East Asian Studies, magna cum laude. Roy Siegel, Bachelor of Arts, East Asian Studies with a double major in economics, Gia Saunders Society, Phi Beta Kappa, summa cum laude. Maka Sek, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics. Shane Sheldon Scott, Bachelor of Arts, Music, cum laude. Raymond J.W.T. Sante Magruda, Bachelor of Arts, Architecture. Jonathan Joseph Siegel, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Theodore Joseph Scofus, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Nicholas Gerard Rowe, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology. Rena Susanna Schulberg, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. James Cole Schofield, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy, with a concentration in Computer Science, cum laude. Lazar Lipa Schmelzer, Bachelor of Arts, Double major in Creative Writing and Visual Arts, magna cum laude, GS Honor Society. Farhan Sahil, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science, magna cum laude. Matthew John Ryan, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Michael Ethan Rov Rovner, uh, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Mario Romero, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics. Andy Alberto Rodriguez, Bachelor of Arts, Hispanic uh, Studies, cum laude. Car Carly Rodriguez, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Media Studies. Daniel Philip Radhouse, Bachelor of Arts, with a double major in Philosophy and Religion. Rudy Rockman, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. William Rios, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Statistics, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Edward Basil Russin, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing. Jacqueline Shea Rudick, Bachelor of Arts, Comparative Literature and Society, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Andre Rublyov, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Victor Alfonso Riaz, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics. Eric Steven Reinhardt, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics. Zachary Taylor Richards, Bachelor of Arts, East Asian Studies. Israel Reyes, Bachelor of Arts, History with a concentration in Business Management. Usta Ramaswamy, Bachelor of Arts, Urban Studies. Donnie Keith Rada, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Roy Prigat, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Thomas Morgan Prenderville, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Gregory Keith Predmore, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Anjuli Vene Rivo, Bachelor of Arts, Middle Eastern, South Asian, and African Studies with a double major in Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Ryan Render, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy Cum Laude. Sang Boom Ra, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Sana Armanui Quigley, Bachelor of Arts, Women's and Gender Studies, Summa Cum Laude, JS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa, Departmental Honors. Matthew Feng Chong Quek, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Concentration in Computer Science. Jane Hunter Pope, Bachelor of Arts, English, Summa Cum Laude, JS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Christopher Craig Patterson, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Media Studies, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Film Studies, Departmental Honors. Shana Ray Polly, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Kirill Ogzerson, Bachelor of Arts, Economics and Political Science. Eric Oyerbid, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Statistics. Gilead Norman Penn, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Purnima Chadawri Pandurthi, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Corey Alexander Pula Bowers, Bachelor of Arts, English, Magna Cum Laude. Marie Suzanne Fleur Prunier, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Kimberly Ann Pizzuti, Bachelor of Arts English, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Ina Pilipenko, Bachelor of Arts Philosophy. Min Tai Man Pam, Bachelor of Arts Data Science, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors. Gabriela Moreira Falmer, Bachelor of Arts Sociology, Magna Cum Laude. Adam Jonathan Palowski, Bachelor of Arts Political Science. Rachel Grace Patton, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. Casey James O'Brien, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology. Isaac Daniel Novak, Bachelor of Arts, Religion. 
Juliana Nietzsche, Bachelor of Arts, Neuroscience and Behavior, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Kezia Huen Park, Bachelor of Arts Economics. Mert Kivank Baker, Bachelor of Arts Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. Michelle S. Pack, Bachelor of Arts Financial Economics. Aaron Lee Patek, Bachelor of Arts Financial Economics, Honor Society, Summa Cum Laude. Miami Atsuki, Bachelor of Arts Financial Economics, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Jennifer Maya Osher, Bachelor of Arts French and Francophone Studies. Patrick Ankavith, Bachelor of Arts Economics. Henri Callen Olivo, Bachelor of Arts Political Science Statistics. Samantha Pascal, Bachelor of Arts Human Rights. Anissa Juliana Peterson, Bachelor of Arts Human Rights. Eldad Niemeyer, Bachelor of Arts Middle Eastern, South Asian, and African Studies. Maran Reza Mohan Najafi, Bachelor of Arts Economics. Brittany Nagy, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Orly Michelle Morgan, Bachelor of Arts, Evolutionary Biology of the Human Species, Magna Cum Laude. Cornelia Maria Augendo, Bachelor of Arts, Sustainable Development. Kimi Lynn Nicodo, Bachelor of Arts, Neuroscience and Behavior, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Ashley Kan Nu Nugan, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Huang Cheng Yao, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Yi Da Jeremy Ong, Bachelor of Arts, Information Sciences, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Emma Claire Murphy, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Juan Machicabo Munez, Bachelor of Arts, History. Daniel Stephen McFarlane, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Shah Faisal Ben Mazar, Bachelor of Arts, Physics. Seung Wook Moon, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Cum Laude. Wilmer Angel Montedoseska, Bachelor of Arts, History, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Abhinav Mahabhatra, ba Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics, Cum Laude. Jin Ha Min, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Maximilian Moosberger, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth Ann Miller, Bachelor of Arts, English, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Thomas Robert Miller, Bachelor of Arts, Astrophysics. Daniel McKillian, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Cum Laude. Walter Gaver Mayer, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Queenie Lau, Bachelor of Arts, Religion, with a concentration in Physics, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors, Phi Beta Kappa. Gildet Holt, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics. Aaron Kathleen Lowry, Bachelor of Arts, English. Anitka Mandava, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Philosophy. Elizabeth Ann Manchester, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing. Sarah Nicole McMaster, Bachelor of Arts, Biological Sciences. Cameron Lee McMahon, Bachelor of Arts, Sustainable Development, Cum Laude. Si Hui Mang, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Statistics, Cum Laude. Daniel Mirovich, Bachelor of Arts, Sustainable Development. Nicholas Alexander Matos, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Claudia Matinee, Bachelor of Arts, Biological Sciences. Evan Martinez, Bachelor of Arts, Physics. Leila Martinez, Bachelor of Arts, Human Rights, Concentration in Sociology. Tamila Pasha A. Aldamari, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Yao Chen Lin, Bachelor of Arts, Biological Sciences, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Mark Lin, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, with a double major in Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. Sarah Elizabeth Lytle, Bachelor of Arts, Sustainable Development, Cum Laude. Jennifer Elizabeth Lutz, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing. Matthew Leo Lutz, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Madison Siri Marlowe, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. Bowen Mao, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Lawrence Weatherhill Madsen, Bachelor of Arts, History, Cum Laude. Mona Martika Mann, Bachelor of Arts, Media and Film Studies. Wai Shan Ma, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors, Phi Beta Kappa. And Lydia Hyman, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Hya Jin Lee, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Daniel Seth Lipow, Bachelor of Arts, Sustainable Development, Magna Cum Laude. Emmanuel M. Lemoneth, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. 
Daniel Limon, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Lawrence George Lenzen, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics. Xiao Tong Lin, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Statistics, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Catherine Liu, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Cum Laude. Irina Liu, Bachelor of Arts, Economic, uh, Environmental Science, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors, Phi Beta Kappa. Yeah. Emily Ruth Lippman, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Media Studies. Laron Lippman, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Matthew Lamaka, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Cum Laude. Natasha Hayad, Heidi Narendorf, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts with a concentration in mathematics, summa cum laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa Departmental Honors. Amir Lavi, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Matthew Thierry Bernard LaRoque, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Political Science. Julian Anthony LaRosa, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing with a double major in Political Science. Yunji Kwok, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Jun Hyung Kwok, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Jacob Lezel, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics. Jacob Max Lewis, Bachelor of Arts, Data Science, Cum Laude. Celine Lazard Brandt, Bachelor of Arts, Urban Studies, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors. Madeline Isabel Letty, Bachelor of Arts, Comparative Literature and Society, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa, Departmental Honors. Ikhar Laziok, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Olivier Jean Kim, Bachelor of Arts, Music, Concentration in Biological Sciences, Departmental Honors. Julian Hansjörg Kocher, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Michael Allen Kling, Bachelor of Arts, Biochemistry. Sarah Yukito Klena, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Wong Yuk Kim, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Michael William Law, Bachelor of Arts, Physics, Concentration in Mathematics. Alyssa Ruth Crudenier, Bachelor of Arts, Middle Eastern, South Asian and African Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Gabriela Elizabeth Kovacs, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Nikolai Kiro Kondovsky, Bachelor of Arts, History, Concentration, Business Management, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Albert Evan Cohn, Bachelor of Arts, Religion, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Tracy Ann Jimena, Bachelor of Arts, Biological Sciences, Cum Laude. Michael Anthony Price, Bachelor of Arts, Ethnicity and Race Studies, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Dowdy Justin, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Michael Anthony Hulve, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Philosophy, Magna Cum Laude. Kir Young Kim, Bachelor of Arts, Biological Sciences, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors, Phi Beta Kappa. Jun Yeol Kim, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics, with a concentration in Political Science, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Mi Young Kim, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Concentration in East Asian Studies, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Myung Hung Kim, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics Statistics. Daniel Kim, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Ji Young Kim, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Magna Cum Laude. Judith Kilser, Bachelor of Arts, Major in English, Concentration Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Noam A. Kahati, Bachelor of Arts, Middle Eastern, South Asian and African Studies, Cum Laude. Erica Brianna Kawaguchi, Bachelor of Arts, Human Rights, with a Psychology Concentration, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Alice Jiang, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics. Courtney Elizabeth Jewett, Bachelor of Arts, English and Comparative Literature, Magna Cum Laude. David Ellis Jeter, Bachelor of Arts, Italian Literature, Summa Cum Laude, Phi Beta Kappa, GS Honor Society. Minji Kang, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Statistics, Magna Cum Laude. Jonathan Arjun Kanagasabi, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Mathematics. Tina Chitandra Khanna, Bachelor of Arts, Biological Sciences, Cum Laude. Cody Ray Kantz, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors, GS Honor Society. Christopher Reed Jones, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing. George Kyle Johnson, Bachelor of Arts, Data Science, Cum Laude. Desmond Richard Johnson, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Adam Lee John, Bachelor of Arts, Comparative Literature and Society. Sean Michael Jarvis, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Concentration in Business Management, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Thomas Jane ha James Hansen, Hannon, Bachelor of Arts, Evolutionary Biology of the Human Species, Concentration in Visual Arts. James Hahn, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. David J. Haynes, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy, Double Major in Psychology. Ariel Hillman, Bachelor of Arts, Economic Statistics, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. 
Elizabeth Harris, Bachelor of Arts, Environmental Biology. Ezra Hurwitz, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Media Studies, Cum Laude. Tinichin Jeparedzi, Bachelor of Arts, Slavic Studies with a concentration in Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, Phi Beta Kappa, GS Honor Society. Matthew Ryan Hattari, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Ronald Andrew Hewitt, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing. Yi Hao Huang, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Statistics, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Chao Huang, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Suzanne Lawino Lurum, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Yanni Z. Gordon, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics. Jacob Samuel Goodwin, Bachelor of Arts, Middle Eastern, South Asian, and African Studies. Vanessa Wolf, Bachelor of Arts, Sustainable Development. Jonathan Michael Harper, Bachelor of Arts, Evolutionary Biology of the Human Species, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors. Miklos Harange, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Minji Hong, Bachelor of Arts, Human Rights. Mark Nathan Hirsch, Bachelor of Arts, History Cum Laude. Daniel A. Hernandez, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics. Lucas Didrick Haudeberg, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors, Phi Beta Kappa. Jane Ellen Hazeman, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Sociology, Cum Laude. Amy Lee Foskis, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts. Jeremy Enrique Alves, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Gabriela Davida Ginsburg Fletcher, Bachelor of Arts, Sustainable Development, Cum Laude. Iman Lee Gillis, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, with a concentration in Middle Eastern, South Asian, and African Studies, Magna Cum Laude, GS Society. Benjamin Kyle Gersten, Bachelor of Arts, Neuroscience and Behavior, with a concentration in Linguistics, Cum Laude. Andrew Pierre Gerson, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Cum Laude. Sebastian Thomas Gershman, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Alex Garino, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. <laughs> Bing Chen Guan, Bachelor of Arts, History, Cum Laude. Shang Ji Gu, Bachelor of Arts, Architecture. Miles Jacob Greenspoon, Bachelor of Arts, American Studies. Jonah Janhaya Goldman K, Bachelor of Arts, Art History, Magna Cum Laude. Si Ping Go, Bachelor of Arts, Astrophysics, Magna Cum Laude. Estelle Audi Danio, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology with a concentration in Statistics. Samantha Gabriel Fruworth, Bachelor of Arts, Architecture, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors, GS Honors Society. Shannon Bo Ram Fried, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology, Cum Laude. Jodeline Christina Franz, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Double Major in Psychology. Stephen Michael Francis, Bachelor of Arts, Statistics. Yifon Gao, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honors Society. Thomas Germain, Bachelor of Arts, American Studies, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Jacqueline Diana George, Bachelor of Arts, History. Thibaut Genevieve, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, GS Honor Society. Isabel Marie Galantino, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Brendan Wesley Gaines, Bachelor of Arts, English, Concentration in Hispanic Studies, Cum Laude. Margaret Wiley Fullman, Bachelor of Arts, Music, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Benjamin Harrison Fagdis, Bachelor of Arts, Neuroscience and Behavior. Edward Henning Constant Erickson, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science, Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Elena Rosa Engelman Lado, Bachelor of Arts, Ethnicity and Race Studies, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors, GS Honor Society. Elin M. Flax, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, Magna Cum Laude. Julia Annette Flassfaller, Bachelor of Arts, English, Magna Cum Laude. Trevor Giel Felix Broad, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Denise Frutos, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Kevin Preston Marcus Francis, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing with a concentration in African American Studies, Cum Laude, Departmental Honors. Brittany Rose Fight, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing, GS Honor Society, Magna Cum Laude. Josie Zena Fazino, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Martin Fagerhus, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Louise R. Cruz, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Carolina G. Hai Choi, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jacob Arne Dahl, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Cum Laude. Christopher Hamilton Durham, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Jessica Doyle, Bachelor of Arts, Latin American and Caribbean Studies, Magna Cum Laude, Summa Cum Laude, actually, GS Honor Society. Sabrine Jamil, Bachelor of Arts, Human Rights, Political Science Double Major, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Ryan David Fadden, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Michael Amon Falkenstein, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science with a concentration in Mathematics. Jonathan Robert Ellsworth, Bachelor of Arts in Computer Science. 
Glynis Louise McAvin Eldridge, Bachelor of Arts Creative Writing, Cum Laude. Aya Tara Elgasugi, Bachelor of Arts Human Rights. Mark Anthony Eden, Bachelor of Arts Economics. Jennifer Madeline Falsetta, Bachelor of Arts Physics. Joseph Abraham Cooper, Bachelor of Arts Philosophy, Cum Laude. David Avery Cohen, Bachelor of Arts Neuroscience and Behavior, Cum Laude. Charlotte Sage Coben, Bachelor of Arts Creative Writing, Cum Laude. Veronica Sibulkova, Bachelor of Arts Sociology, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Sylvia Lee Deaton, Bachelor of Arts Art History, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Emile Christian Dubon, Bachelor of Arts Theater Arts. Sweet Pea, Bachelor of Arts Canine Studies. David Martin Elman, Bachelor of Arts Human Rights, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Nathan Andrew Ekman, Bachelor of Arts History, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors. Alexis Marie Diaz, Bachelor of Arts Anthropology. Shenadub Diawara, Bachelor of Arts Chemistry. Pierre Timmons Denton, Bachelor of Arts Political Science. Samantha Demezier, Bachelor of Arts Middle Eastern, South Asian, and African Studies. Anna Colada Caldero Beals, Bachelor of Arts Human Rights, with a double major in Middle Eastern, South Asian, and African Studies, Magna Cum Laude Departmental Honors. Alexandra Andrukanevich Shirminikiv, Bachelor of Arts Financial Economics. Quan Kao Chang, Bachelor of Arts Physics, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Noah Kasha Kasvek McFoy, Bachelor of Arts Sociology with a concentration in Statistics. Christina D. Charles, Bachelor of Arts Computer Science. Ronald Soon Chang, Bachelor of Arts Political Science. Ryan Descosmo, Bachelor of Arts Computer Science. Raymond Hillray Curtis, Bachelor of Arts Political Science. Holly Marguerite Curran, Bachelor of Arts History. Farron Ann Crumpton, Bachelor of Arts Sociology. Saul Weatherford Courtney, Bachelor of Arts Astrophysics. Jose Rudolph Caballero, Bachelor of Arts Political Science. Harris Gashevich, Bachelor of Arts Political Science. Marvin Aikens Blue, Bachelor of Arts Film and Media Studies. Milo Delaney Burke, Bachelor of Arts Economics. Alan Carbejal, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Maxime Theo Jacques Capron, Bachelor of Arts Mathematics Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Isabella Canal, Bachelor of Arts Biochemistry. Donald Michael Coslett, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Florian Chupo, Bachelor of Arts Urban Studies. Ablatif Taribi Hasseni, Bachelor of Arts Economics Mathematics Cum Laude. Christina Cho, Bachelor of Arts Political uh, Biological Sciences. Jesse Benton Cherry, Bachelor of Arts Human Rights. Anthony James Chan, Bachelor of Arts Computer Science, Magna Cum Laude, and Laude, GS Honor Society. Andrew David Bates, Bachelor of Arts, Visual Arts, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors. Cullen James Barrett, Bachelor of Arts, American Studies. Stephen Wesley Barker, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Najle Boras, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Asaf Bani, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Cum Laude. Louise Bogoslav, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Ellen C. Case, Eileen C. Casey, Bachelor of Arts, History. Karina M. Case, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Christina Marie Carter, Bachelor of Arts, Creative Writing, Concentration in Jazz Study, Magna Cum Laude. Kaylee Ann Butts, Boots, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Daniel R. Burkhart, Bachelor of Arts, Information Sciences. Nathan Andrew Burgess, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Stacy Rosanna Byrne, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa. Stefan Benkonski, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors. Joseph Delete Bakani, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, with a concentration in East Asian Studies. Saba Rachel Ascari, Bachelor of Arts, Visual Arts. Julie Lee, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology with a concentration in business management. Catherine By, Bachelor of Arts, Statistics. Andrew Belmore Brooks, Bachelor of Arts, Middle Eastern, South Asian, African Studies, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Derek Jason Berg, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jessica Bennett, Bachelor of Arts, Ethnicity, Race, Studies, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Nathan Shinji Benjik, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Sarah Lee Bells, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Shanoza Banredova, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Baudelaire Jean-Charles, Bachelor of Arts, Applied Mathematics. 
Christopher Michael Garrity, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Christopher Michael Agello, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Ellie Ilad Azikowitz, Bachelor of Arts, Classics, Summa Cum Laude, GS Honor Society, Departmental Honors, Phi Beta Kappa. Nicole Marie Bea, Bachelor of Arts, Human Rights. Supriya Abwani, Bachelor of Arts, Urban Studies, Cum Laude. Mark Tong Chai Bao, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science with a concentration in Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, Phi Beta Kappa. Emily Holland Belosian, Bachelor of Arts, Sustainable Development, Magna Cum Laude, GS Honor Society. Andrew Wyatt Baker, Bachelor of Arts, East Asian Studies. Jeffrey Scott Bailey, Bachelor of Arts, Evolutionary Biology of the Human Species, Magna Cum Laude. Jane Sunflower Bayer, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Economics, Cum Laude. Michael Michal Andrea Marco Ashkenazi, Bachelor of Arts, Urban Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Manpreet Singh, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Mathematics. Johanna Emily Rines, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology, Magna Cum Laude. Matthew Maddock Arnold, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Cum Laude. Roberto Antonio Araveo, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Media Studies, with a business concentration. Benjamin Samuel Ehrenstein, Bachelor of Arts History, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors. Soledad Alina Anderson, Bachelor of Arts, Human Rights. Rebecca Ann Anderson, Bachelor of Arts, Applied Mathematics. Alexis Martha Allen, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Mathau Christoph Azar, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Lulia Abramowitz, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude, Honor Society. Ian Richard Alderman, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Max Tomala, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology. William Alejandro Falcon, Bachelor of Arts, Data Science with a concentration in Mathematics, Cum Laude. Hyun Han, Bachelor of Arts, History. Wow. All right. Okay. Will the class of 2018 please rise? Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you the unique, gifted, scrappy, savvy, and always inspiring General Studies class of 2018. Thank you. Please be seated. Congratulations again. Our valedictorian this year is Justice Betty. Born and raised in Toronto, Canada, Justice knew from the age of four that she wanted to run for political office in her home country and in the ensuing years pursued volunteer positions in government and on more than a dozen political campaigns. She represented Canada in the world, individually, individual debating and public speaking championships in 2012 and 2014 when she was named one of the top 20 best high school public speakers in the world. Her interest in politics is driven by a fundamental commitment to improving the daily lives of individuals in the areas that affect them most, access to education, healthcare, and employment. At age 17, Justice was admitted to the dual BA program between Columbia University and Sciences Po. She served as Vice President of the Columbia Organization of Rising Entrepreneurs, a Columbia representative to the United Nations Youth Forum, and an organizer for Columbia's first women's conference, She Opened the Door. All throughout, Justice has remained active in Canadian politics, frequently traveling between New York, Toronto, and Ottawa to speak about youth engagement and female representation in government. A member of the GS Honor Society, Justice has been named to the Dean's List every semester, is a member of Pi Sigma Alpha, the National Political Science Honor Society, and is a recipient of the Dean's Scholarship. 
She graduates with far better than an A average with two bachelor's degrees, one in social sciences from Sciences Po and one in political science from Columbia. Summa cum laude and is a member of the Phi Beta Kappa. After graduating, Justice will return to Toronto to join McKinsey and Company. I suspect, however, that it will not be long before Justice hears her four-year-old self compelling her to even greater heights. All we can say is watch out, Justin Trudeau. Please join me in welcoming the valedictorian of the class of 2018, Justice Betty. Thank you for that introduction, Dean Metch. Good morning, esteemed Columbia University administrators, faculty, alumni, family, friends, and most importantly, congratulations to the GS class of 2018. My preschool teachers were the first to ask me what my dream job was. In a circle surrounded by my friends, I shared my dream. I continue to catch up with the same teachers, and every time we see each other, they ask me if I still want to be the Prime Minister of Canada. <laughs> 17 years later, I still reply yes. Childhood is sacred for many reasons. We can sleep as much as we want, play is encouraged, and our minds are subject to infinite wonder, unhindered by the so-called realities of life. We are encouraged to dream big, and the notion of impossible is practically invisible. My own testimony as a four-year-old is an important reminder of the purest hopes and biggest dreams I had for myself. Here, on our graduation day, we have more in common with our four-year-old selves than we may wish to admit. In addition to still finding it difficult to sit through a series of long speeches, we will never be as free as we are in this moment, and the freedom to innovate, hope, and dream will one day be taken away from us, if we let it. As we get older, the question, what is your dream job, is replaced with, so what's next? And our childhood answers of becoming a zookeeper, an astronaut, or an NBA player seem distant as we LinkedIn DM a distressed debt investment analyst. Whether it is a move across the ocean, a change in our personal lives, or a career pivot, we are asked what's next at every monumental moment in our lives. This question has dominated our conversations with our peers, colleagues, teachers, and just about every single member of our extended family at every holiday gathering, not to mention the dreaded what are you even going to do with that? Political science? Are you sure you didn't want to study a real science? But most importantly, what's next is a question that has kept many of us up at night, unable to dream because reality is a loud wake-up call. But after a string of what's next, let us use this occasion, this occasion of our graduation, to glance back to the question, what is your dream? Notwithstanding this incoming tide of pressures and expectations, as new graduates, we can still preserve our propensity as four-year-olds to dream without limits. As we walk across this stage, we walk through a confluence of dreams, abilities, and opportunities. We can design and craft our future and use the tools of this education and experience to execute practically. We can glance back to moments when our hopes seemed infinite. Moments like this on our graduation day, or some of our earliest articulations of our dreams to our elementary school teachers. This week, we will officially become graduates. Graduates of Columbia University and recipients of one of the best educations in the world. And what are we supposed to do with that? Our dreams will be put to the test as we enter the real world and are confronted with the seemingly irresolvable struggle between our dreams and reality. Crossing the stage in our pale blue caps and gowns marks the end of a time that began in a tent quite similar to this one. 
Many of us will remember convocation when Dean Harford asked the crowd of incoming students to stand if they're the first in their families to attend university, if they transferred from a community college, if they're an international dual BA student, working full time to support their education, a parent, a veteran, new to New York, or a native New Yorker. After a few moments, we were all proudly standing, looking around at our new classmates and future best friends, simultaneously inspired and intimidated. Since first stepping foot on this campus, some of us have produced Broadway shows, cycled across America for cancer, and volunteered in refugee camps. Today, we took several steps to get that paper. And that paper is a reminder of how far we have come, all that we have accomplished, and above all, our diploma is symbolic of just how much more we have left to do. We, the class of 2018, stand at history's door. For history is behind us, and it is also in front of us. For the history that has been made has brought us here, and the history that we now have the opportunity to make shall be what inspires us as we go forward. And our dreams have the power to illuminate our paths as we take our next steps. This year marks 55 years since Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. If anything, history has taught us about the power of dreams, for it is dreams that fuel revolutions. And humankind has never conquered any new frontier without finding inspiration in something that was first planted. As a black graduate of both Columbia University and Sciences Po, and valedictorian of the GS class of 2018, I am my ancestors wildest dreams. I graduate alongside undocumented students who are their ancestors' wildest dreams. And it is the dreams of all of our parents, teachers, communities, and ourselves that have brought us to this exact moment. And it is, it is our dreams that will sustain us and endure us if we let them. What is your dream for yourself at this moment? And who do you dream of becoming? As you reflect, Take a moment to listen to the four-year-old dreamer that quietly resonates inside of you. As a fresh graduate, your answer today is particularly valuable. It retains that preschool optimism and infuses a set of skills and practicality that can make that dream a reality. Take, for example, the young girl that once dreamt of being an astronaut, who has since realized that she is happier on Earth working at an aerospace startup to bring herself and thousands like her to space one day. What's even more special at GS is that through embracing the non-traditional, some of you did live your dream job. And now the question becomes, what will the ballerina or published author dream of next? What is going to tie you to these raw hopes for yourself? How will you preserve the spirit of dreams when reality seems to hit so hard and the can'ts can quickly outnumber the cans. I'm not naive to the fact that dreams can change or evolve, or that dreams are sometimes more material than noble. But how do we preserve the desire to dream or will to wonder, especially when life's interruptions and distractions will readily sideline these dreams? How do we preserve the passion, hunger, energy, engagement, and optimism we have right now? The answer is right in front of us. Just like at Convocation, we can take an opportunity to look around at all of our peers. I'm so inspired as I reflect on the fact that as graduates of GS, we are proof that through hard work and determination, no dream is too big. Many of us have done the impossible, having followed a non-traditional path, contending with college life struggles alongside real life struggles, from working full time to raising a family. And our presence today and our successes are proof of what can happen when we take the opportunity or take a moment in our busy lives to dream. 
Yes, we know full well that we are venturing into societies and communities where we see shifting realities and where several stanzas of bitterness and recriminations have been planted and where the harvest for what is fake is plenty. But at this same moment in history, we are watching our peers, both on this campus and beyond, become more aware, embracing activism and fighting for change. Be inspired by your peers and yourself. When you encounter a challenge that provokes self-doubt or anxiety, again, glance back to remind yourself of all that you have accomplished and all that you've overcome to bring you to this very moment in time. Marshal your courage and use these experiences to push forward with this internalized strength in yourself and belief in yourself and what is possible. Class of 2018, this is our moment. This is our moment to fashion history in our own image and likeness. And through the power of this education and our community, we can fiercely challenge the status quo and create the change that we seek. Together, we can bring our dreams of a better day to life. We graduate from university and this oasis of self-discovery, but the learning continues. We may leave the libraries and lounges behind, but we graduate as members of a community with a network of peers and lifelong friends. May we learn from our friends, such as a psychology major volunteering his time to support transgender youth and their families, or the mother who is tirelessly advocating for the dreams of formerly incarcerated students to access an education. May our work and service give voice to the dreams of our communities and our world. May we commit to helping each other keep these dreams alive. Most importantly, our graduation is an affirmation of the power of dreams, those gone by that established belief, and those we shall use to inspire us going forward and set the foundation for achievement and change. It is dreamers that change the world, and we are all dreamers. And within us lies the power of change. As graduates of the Columbia University School of General Studies, we shall not fear the future. We shall embrace it. Congratulations, GS Class of 2018. Thank you. Wow. Thank you both to Justice and Marisol for your incredible talks, and again to uh, Sasha Cohen as our class day speaker. Congratulations to the graduates of the class of 2018. And congratulations, take a moment and look out on both sides and, and thank and congratulate your families and those who are here to support you today. the first class to graduate in my first semester as dean, you will always hold a special place in my heart. I am honored to be your dean for now and for years to come as together we build a very strong alumni community. It's a new era of alumni leadership and we welcome you to our alumni association. You embody in a spectacular way the mission and vision of Columbia School of General Studies and Columbia University. I hope you will stay involved with your Columbia family for many years to come. I now invite you and your families and friends and loved ones to continue the celebration at the class day reception to be held under the tents on Avery Plaza. As you exit, there will be student marshals ready to guide you to the reception. 
Since we are all headed to the same place, I ask that our guests remain seated and allow the party on, on stage here to exit first. Then our graduates will exit, followed by family and friends. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you.